Hi everyone, this is Harshwadhan and you are watching another YouTube channel and today we are going to start with a Django series where we will learn Django by building a blog post website. So this will be a project based approach to learn Django. Let me demonstrate you what we will be building. I'll just uh, run the server by python manage.py run server and I'll just take you to this link in my browser. So right here I'll just paste this link and you can see we are automatically redirected to slash blog how to do that i'll let you know now this is your home page and uh, these are various posts so here i'll just go to the first uh, post and uh, you will learn to build this seo friendly urls don't worry for this and uh, you will learn to build a recommender system where you can uh, recommend similar kind of post so this isn't a real post we have uh, used some libraries to build this and i'll let you know how to do that and you will also learn to build a commenting feature sharing by email so let me show you i will just uh, here name harsh vardhan and i will comment nice post i'll just say add comment and right here you can see that we have uh, a comment Harshwardhan has commented nice post and you can also share it by email so i'll just say mohan at the rate of gmail.com and sohan at the rate of gmail.com and i will again say this is a good post and uh, this message is optional so i'll just send that and right here you can see we got a message you have shared the title with sohan at the rate of gmail.com you can cross that and now we will get back to the home page and here we have a search feature this is a full text search feature for example i will say training and uh, you will find all the posts that have training in them so at first uh, here you can see that training in the title training in the title and also training will be somewhere in the paragraph that's written that means in the post that's why they are listed right here again get back to the home page and then you will uh, also learn to work with the query set like here you can see that how we will uh, grab the time date and by whom this post was published then we will go here and uh, we will work with pagination and you will learn how to implement this uh, pagination using Django. So right here you can see that we are at page 4. You can go back till page 1 and then uh, this previous page will be disabled. Similarly, if we go to the page number 17, the next page uh, will be disabled. Awesome. Now here you can see that we have a latest post section where you will see all the latest uh, post. So I'll just go to this first post and we have a similar template like here, here you will get a recommended uh, post based on uh, this particular post. And uh, after that you will learn to build sitemaps so that you can uh, make your website more visible to the search engine. So I will just uh, take you to the sitemap. And right here you can see that we have a XML file that is a sitemap and it will help your website to be more friendly to be more visible to the search engines and at the end you will learn to build the RSS feed or atom feed so I can just say subscribe to my feed and uh, I have uh, already installed extension for this to read the RSS feed and I can just say subscribe and here you can see that update will appear here and if i go here i'll just close this and right here you can see we have all the posts that are being displayed in the website so let's get started with this project and if you have not yet subscribed hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. So at first we have to install Django to our system. So for this at first I will uh, just create a virtual environment. So I will say python execute module venv and uh, the env that means uh, the name of the virtual environment. And uh, now our virtual environment is uh, ready. So I will just uh, activate the environment let's wait okay awesome so i will say env slash 
scripts slash activate. So right here you can see that uh, my Python interpreter is uh, ready. That is uh, present in the env environment right here. Now we will install Django. So either you can do pip install Django or I have already provided you a requirement.txt file. So you can also install all the required files from uh, here. So I will say pip install hyphen r and then requirement.txt and then press enter. So you will see that all the required libraries will be installed in this env environment. Now I will uh, just say python to start the python interpreter and uh, here I will say import django and uh, django dot get underscore version. So my version of uh, Django is 3.1.4 and it also implies that our Django is being installed in the environment successfully. Now I'll just uh, exit uh, from this uh, environment. Now to create the first project, you will say Django hyphen admin, then start project. I will just zoom in a little bit. Awesome. And then the project name. So we will say blog post and then press enter. It should be L in small press enter. Now right here you can see that we have a, a directory blog post and inside that directory we have another directory named blog post which have uh, various files. We will talk about it uh, all those files in uh, very much detail and a uh, file manage.py. So what you will do you will just say cd and then blog post. So right here you can see that in the tree we have a file blog post. So now I will take you through each and every file present in this directory. At first this underscore underscore in it underscore underscore dot py file. This is an empty file that uh, tells python to treat this particular folder that means blog post folder directory as a python module. Next we have asgi.py file. This is a configuration file to run our project as ASGI. ASGI means Asynchronous Server Gateway Interface. This is a emerging Python standard for asynchronous web servers and applications. Then we have settings.py file. This indicates settings and configuration for our project containing initial default settings. For example, the base directory, security key, whether debug is true or not. That means, yes, obviously we are doing debugging. So debug is true. Installed app, some default uh, middlewares. So all the default values are being given here. Then we have wsgi.py file. This is again a configuration file to run our project as a web server gateway interface. That means wsgi application. So moving toward our project. Now I will show you how to run a server. So Django comes with a lightweight development server that allows you to run your uh, Python applications uh, right away. So here in the console, write python manage.py. So here you can see that we have a manage.py file in the blog post uh, directory. And we are also in the blog post directory, python manage.py run server and press enter. So here you can see we have a uh, 18 unapplied migrations. Don't worry, we will talk about it. What is migration and we will do it later on. And uh, now it says run python manage.py migrate to apply them. That means uh, to remove this, we have to execute this command. Again, I will say later on, we will discuss that time of uh, execution. Then uh, we have uh, the settings that we are using that is blog post dot setting. Then we have a development server. And this is the link that is provided by our development server. So I will just uh, click on this link. And uh, you have successfully built your first Python application. So here you can see that uh, Django says the install worked successfully. Congratulations. Now we will again get back to our VS code and understand uh, these statements. 
so this time is the time when request was made the get represent the type of request this slash that means if we combine this statement it says that we have made a http get request to slash then this uh, http 1.1 is the version of uh, http and this 200 is the http response code which means the request has succeeded so that's all for this lecture see you in the next one